I uh, count me as skeptical on that front. I think the oil companies have a horrible track record down here. As you mentioned, they're you know they're one of the two responsible parties when it comes to our coastal wetlands crisis. They're responsible for to 40, 40 to sixty percent of the football field of wetlands we lose every 45 minutes, which of course puts our coastal communities more in harm's way as storm season gears up. Uh, but the public seems very unwilling to, uh, maybe not the public, but our politicians are very unwilling to call them to account for this. I think the, the BP spill will be similar. Uh, already we're seeing and, you know, calls for investigations of this, ex- this specific accident, but no real call for a change in direction uh, in our energy processes down here. Uh, and most of the, the politicians have basically hunkered down uh, and are hoping for this you know, to go away. Well, maybe so, one reason for that is the power, the continuing power of money in these corporations. BP, coincidentally, this week released its uh, first quarter profit earnings up more than twice. Weiss, $6.08 billion profits. Right. I'm not talking revenues. Right. Is this, even the damage we're talking about, capable of causing a dent in their confidence about oil? Um, and what about this national plan? I mean, this week also saw the approval of the first wind turbine project off the coast of the United States, Cape Wind. Uh, you don't hear about wind spills. Wouldn't that be an obvious option? It is. And, uh, and, and you know, the, the one thing I will say about the Obama administration is they are taking steps to try and move the country towards a renewable energy future, but they are also still far too beholden to the oil and gas industry to make sure that their profits are also protected. And that's outrageous. If we're serious about dealing with climate change, if we're serious about avoiding these kinds of catastrophic accidents in the future, we have to start winding down our oil industry, not continuing to subsidize them, not continuing to give, give them a free pass when it comes to regulating them. Like Massey Coal, these companies and these industries are just not regulated in any serious way. Uh, if I were king, uh, and, and I'm sure Aaron feels the same way, this, this bill would be impossible. And the reason it would be impossible is because a company like BP would be slapped with such a stiff fee for causing an accident and causing such a devastating impact on the ecology and, 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 the, and the economy of, of Louisiana and the country that they would never do it again. They would figure out a way to absolutely avoid it at all costs. But instead, they are basically allowed to get away with it and they get, they're allowed to continue Stop to make record profits.